so this first video here is from Hollywood she says or somebody actually asked her a question she responded to this do you think men can't be just friends with women curious and she actually asked a question with this so let's go ahead and see what she has to say yep. I get asked this question all the time in real life and on social media. So someone help me out here. In my opinion, I don't think there is any need for a male to be friends with a female if they're in a relationship. In that relationship, the woman should be fulfilling every need that he has. Um, if she's not, um. he's either settling or he's using her, in my opinion. But my opinion's right. In my opinion, I see a man with a lot of female friends um, I see it as an insecurity and his attractiveness goes down a few notches. So each time a man says, oh, she's just a friend, she's just a friend, it, it just, it's the ick. That's the ick for me. Uh, because a man, men are natural born leaders and they should be able to think for themselves, make decisions on themselves and just be them, you know? So I've, I've met a guy before, this was years and years ago, but some guy was like t talking to me to another woman, talking about me to another woman. And he accidentally screenshotted this conversation to me. And I said, why are you talking to another woman about me? And he said, oh, well, I needed some advice on what you meant about this. And I said, hmm, well, if you needed some clarification on something that I said, you probably should have just asked me. And uh, I think he was testing me a little bit and it didn't fly. It didn't work. So if he needs to go to that woman for advice, then hopefully he ended up with her. He probably did it because she could see the red flags. But... <laughs> But yeah, if any man needs advice, if that's the excuse that, oh, I'm friends with her because she gives me good advice, yeah, okay, then go be with her. I understand that there are friendships that are, are lifelong. You know, me personally, some of you know that I moved around a lot, so I wasn't blessed with, um, like, lifelong friends to grow up with like that, so I don't understand that dynamic. But uh, I can understand, like, if you grew up as neighbors and things, but even then, there's typically a history there of something, you know what I mean? I can only speak from a woman's perspective. For a woman, being single, you know, we need somebody that's going to be platonic and not make a move on us every chance they get to make sure that we're okay. If we don't have a father or brother around, we need someone to just kind of be there if our car breaks down or to pick up our washer and dryer if it breaks, you know, things like that. So women need some muscle every now and then. And typically, like for me, I'm not going to ask a guy that's in a relationship for help to come to my house. I'm going to ask a single friend, hey, hey man, my washer broke. Can you come help me pick this up? Some women completely disregard the, the relationship and they'll say, oh, well, we're just a friend. Why is she show, Why is she being so jealous? Like, come on. That's just so disrespectful. And it's a reflection of these people. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, my question is, what is the need for a man to be friends with a female if he's in a relationship besides the obvious? Because for what I think is he's either keeping her on the back burner in case something goes wrong with this current girl or he's using the current girl to triangulate and make him look better for for the just friend and the just friend you know maybe didn't see them in that light before and then they bring around this new chick or whatever and it changes the perspective of them a little bit so ladies be careful because men will use you i gotta be careful of this as well oh that pizza looks so good anyway that's my question what why does a why does a man need to be friends with a female if he's in a relationship leave some comments stay healthy out there i get asked this question all the time Okay, so why does a man need a female friend if he's in a relationship? Uh, to me, it's like, so the, why does a man need a female friend if he's in a relationship? Sometimes it's okay to get a different perspective from somebody who's not the same gender as you, who doesn't think the same way as you, who will like, well, hey, this is what happens, you know, from a female perspective, this is that thought process of it. Now, I, she says, if, female, if your lady you're dating doesn't give you, you know, everything, it's not your everything, you're dating your boyfriend or your girl, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, whatever case it be, and that person's not fulfilling your every need, fulfilling everything for you, then, you no, know, that person's using you. You can't be everything to every, you can't not be everything to somebody. You can't, you just not gonna be able to hit somebody's every single need. You're not gonna be able to be that person's, you know, 
every little detail, every little thing, and you shouldn't try to force yourself into that into that mentality because that's just not going to be helpful, healthy for you. Because you feel like you're not going to ever be enough for that partner because you think that like you have to be their everything and hit every little thing that they're into, that they're doing, and that they're about. And if you can't, if they can't, you know, you guys can't, can't be together on every little detail, it's not going to work out. You can't do that. Like I can tell you right now, if the guy she was dating was into sports and she's not into sports, is she going to be everything for him? No. She's not going to be his everything. She's not going to fulfill that need of that sports need that he gets when he talks to his guy friends. They ain't guys who talk to his friends who are sports. It can be guys, girls, whatever case it be, who are into sports and everybody's cheering for the game and talk about the game and the, all the interaction. She's not be able to relate to him on that level. She's not hitting that need. Or she's going to just drop the relationship because this dude is a good dude, but because the fact they don't relate on sports is that she's going to drop? I don't believe so. So I don't think a lady can, I don't think a, a partner, a guy or girl, whoever it is, I don't think you guys can be everything to your partner. It's just not, you're not going to hit every single need they have. As far as a female friend, your, fem, your, your lifelong friends just don't drop off because you guys are a relationship. They don't. You just don't get rid of your friends who've been there for 10 plus years. Just like, oh, I'm in a relationship now, so I'm just going to say goodbye to you. I can't talk to you anymore because, you know, my significant other doesn't like the fact that I have a friend of significant of the other sex. That That's not how friends should work. Friends, you can be friends with anybody of the opposite sex. And as long as you respect each other's boundaries, nobody trying to make a move on each other, you guys are good. Now, you should respect your partner enough and trust your partner enough so your partner you know your partner won't do something like that and your partner shouldn't disrespect you enough to go mess with their friend while you're in a relationship with, with you. That's just disrespectful too. But the whole thing that you got to be somebody's everything is not a good mindset to have there. And then as far as the guy that she was talking to who went to the lady and showed the lady like, hey, this was the no house thinking. We probably got to a discussion or something and her perspective probably didn't line up with his perspective and they probably debating about it. So he went to go get like, maybe I was in the wrong here. Maybe I am you know, not thinking correctly on this. Let me get another lady's thought process and see, you know, oh, this was, oh, okay. I see what the, I see where the lady's perspective is because maybe she wasn't communicating well enough where he felt like, heck, I don't think, you know, this is a good conversation to have right now. Let me go talk to somebody who can give me a better idea of this. I remember one time I said something to somebody said I was being misogynistic, and I was like, I don't think I am. I'm being accused of but let me tell them, as a friend of mine who's a female, say, hey, is this a misogynistic situation? Am I being misogynistic? And they was like, I asked multiple friends, actually, who are females. They're like, no, Ali, you wasn't being misogynistic at this point. Like, you actually are okay. I was like, all right, thank you. I, I just thought it was odd that didn't. Didn't think that was a misogynistic moment. Like, so, so then that perspective, get an idea, maybe, you know, from a guy's brain that you're thinking a certain way, it's like, oh, yeah, this is actually not the healthy way to think about something. But another lady can give you that idea, like, who's also trusting of you, who cares about your relationship, like, will not step over your relationship, relationship boundaries. Be like, yeah, no, this is what it is. Now, as far as, like, you know what emotional cheating is. You know what you're bound for emotional cheating. And that right there, that's different. But just as far as having a conversation, an open conversation with somebody that is that is uh, of the opposite sex is fine. And the fact that he showed you the messages too, which means he's open enough to trust you with it. Yeah. He, that's, to me, the fact that you got upset at him for that is kind of more of a red flag on my part. Where you're like, he showed you the messages. He said, like, I had to need a different perspective. Now, I guess I get it. Like, he could have asked her to, to elaborate, like, hey, what do you mean by that? Um, can you break that down for me so I can understand better? That's another healthy way to have that conversation versus going to somebody else and getting a, getting a viewpoint of it. But I definitely understand where, you know, he was coming from. As a guy, to have a friend of the opposite sex, if I respect my relationship and respect my relationship boundaries, and I know my boundaries are my friendship boundaries, I won't put myself in a situation to even be, you know, jeopardize my relationship with my friends. I, I wouldn't do that. I know what my friends, but my friendship boundaries are. I know what my relationship boundaries are. Why would I risk that? And that's another thing is setting boundaries, having boundaries. And yeah, trust your partner. You can't worry about, oh, my partner going to run off with his friend. Partner going to sleep with his friend. Partner going to do this. 
You can't worry about that. You worry about that. You worry about the wrong things in the relationship because you you will always be trying to find the find the like. Oh, this is it. This is the moment. This is the moment. This is the moment. He, he's cheating. He's cheating. You're always gonna try to be on the lookout for that versus just let your relationship have fun, enjoy it. Does this person match your bound? Match your your needs and wants? Does this person, um, you know, hit what you want in a relationship? Does this person hit what you want in a partner? If they do, go for it. If they don't, then. All right, move on to the next one, but don't try to put it on, you know, oh, well, he has got, he has girlfriends and friends there are girls, so therefore, you know, we're not going to work together. It's how he acts. How does the reaction are? If he's spending more time with his ladies' friends than he is with you, that's a situation that you might want to look into, like, I don't feel comfortable in a relationship. I don't want somebody who, you know, spending, you know, 80% of his time with his girl, girls that are friends. I don't, I don't like that. I, you know. He should shift a little bit of that. He can still hang out with his lady friends, still do things with them, but like it should be spending 80 20 with you, 80% with them, 20% with you. This that's odd, that'd be odd. But just to say, like, hey, I need a different perspective on something, especially if your perspective you come to you and you're thinking, like, I'm right regardless. And you're like, well, that's not always the truth, you're not always, you know, always right. It's okay to be like understanding that you can be wrong sometimes, but yeah, so. That's why I understand. She's like, well, I don't step over that boundary. I don't ask a guy becomes a friend, gives in a relationship. I just completely dis disappear. You know, you don't lose friendship, but you did say you move around though. So that's her thing. But as far as overall, but why guys, why guys um, continue to have friendship with ladies even though in a relationship because those friends been there for years and those dudes respect their friendship, respect their relationship. They know their boundaries. They're not gonna sit there and try to hook up or hit on their partner, their friend who is not their partner and disrespect their relationship. They are trusting their friend. They trust themselves. They're not trying to hook up with every woman underneath the sun. They wanna be in a relationship with you. And the guy doesn't wanna be in a relationship with you, he'll tell you that he doesn't wanna be in a relationship. But as far as that goes, yeah, because their friends have been there. They're, they just don't go away because you're in a relationship. That's not how that works. And you, 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 if you value your friendship, you just don't just let your friends down. You don't do that. Don't do that. Thank you for watching this episode of Nerdy Dating. I really appreciate it. If there's another episode you want to watch, you can look at it right there. If you want to subscribe to the page and watch more content, it's down here. Also, you have a question about dating, you want to put it in the comment section, go ahead and do it. Or you can send me your dating question to my email of alizakanerdydating at gmail.com. That's alizakanerdydating at gmail.com. And I will answer your question on the next episode of Nerdy Dating. Thank you so much for watching the show. I appreciate you. And keep being awesome.